We've got a 11.4 year mine life. We're targeting now somewhere in next year, at least trying to achieve a, a greater than 15 year mine life. And we're one of the lowest CapEx and OPEX producers globally. Hello, welcome to Assay TV. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Vincent Mascolo, who is the CEO and Managing Director of Atlantic Lithium. Atlantic Lithium are developing the Iwoya Lithium Project in Ghana. Vincent, great to see you here today. Um, you've just released an updated uh, scoping study on your lithium project over there in Ghana. And it's based, the reason you've done this update, I believe, is it's based on a lot of drilling you've done this year, where you've managed to quite significantly increase uh, the resource there. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the numbers there? You know, how much you've been able to uh, increase the resource by and how much drilling this is involved? Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me, Leo. Um, yeah, look, we, we've we recently announced an um, upgraded mineral resource estimate, which is approximately 47% greater than our maiden mineral resource estimate. So we've grown from 14.5 million tonnes to 21.3 million tonnes with a constant grade of 1.31% lithium oxide. Um, so yeah, great, great achievement. I think we've done something like 50,000 metres to, to develop that um, uh, upgrade, um, but still to come is another 28,000, 30,000 metres. We're still working on those numbers uh, of drilling that was not included in this most recent upgrade. So. Uh, that drilling program, the additional results will will um, uh, increase confidence in the resource, so take it from inferred to indicated status, and it will also add more tons and increase the scale of the project um, early next year. Perfect. And so these new figures, so you, you put them into this new updated uh, scoping style. How, how are these the sort of headline uh, business case figures looking? I mean, first of all, you know, how much lithium uh, uh, spodumene concentrate are you, are you planning to produce over over life of mine look life of mine constant uh sc6 uh production is sort of just shy of three hundred thousand ton per annum uh that's what we're forecasting but as you said the life of mine revenues and uh have increased significantly because the uh lithium market has dramatically changed since we put out our first scoping study so this scoping study takes into account uh, increased life of mine and a significantly greater price for the concentrate. Um, mm. We've got a 11.4 year mine life. We're targeting now somewhere in next year, at least trying to achieve a, a greater than 15 year mine life. Um, and we're one of the lowest CapEx and OPEX producers uh, globally. Mm. Um, in terms of all, life of mine revenues, what, what's the headline figure? It's around 3.4 billion, 3.4 billion. Mm. And in terms of the grade of the concentrate you're, you're looking to produce, uh, you know, how does that fit with, with the market and, and the expectations of, of potential end users? Look, I think it fits really well. We'll be producing a premium product um, and premium in respect of grade. So we're consistently achieving greater than 6%, 6% um, but also uh, we have very low deleterious elements in respect of peer comparison. So uh, everyone will be looking for our product and, in fact, um, they are. Hmm. I mean, you mentioned life of mine revenues exceeding 3.4 billion. Um, you know, how does this, how's your uh, expected MPV and IR looking? Look, uh, the, the return on investment is very attractive. I mean, our CapEx is somewhere in the order of around 70 million. Um, and that's uh, primarily because we have very simple processing, very simple flow sheets. Um, and the MPV is a very attractive, just shy of 800 million US dollars. And look, we, we think we've been very conservative on our spodumene concentrate pricing at $900 US per ton. So I think there's significant upside to come. Hmm. And you mentioned your CapEx there. I mean, that's, that, that, that's not a big barrier to entry there, is it? No, it's, it's not. It's not. But it was, um, look, in, in short, it's not. And that's because of our simple processing flow sheet. Conventional mining, simple mining, low to moderate stripping ratios, exceptional metallurgy and dense media separation, DMS processing only. We have no requirement for flotation, and that's that's a huge cost saving in respect of both CapEx and OPEX. Mm. I mean, when investors look at lithium projects, they often have that question of, of you know, how complex the processing is going to be, but yours is about as simple as it gets, right? 
Yeah, look, we're very lucky that the Awoya deposit is, is a very unique um, deposit in respect of geology, mineralogy, and then obviously we have this other carrot, um, Leo, it's uh, proximity to operational infrastructure. Mm. Um, we're one kilometre from the National Highway, we're 110 kilometres from the deep sea port of Pakarati, and we have multiple uh, hydroelectric high voltage power lines running adjacent our site. I mean, it's, a, it's an absolute developer's dream. We're very fortunate to have this style of deposit uh, in this um, world-class mm. location in respect of proximity to operational infrastructure. Mm. And when you look at your operating costs, you know, how, how's the EBITDA da stacking up? Well, the EBITDA is really attractive. At the moment, we're sort of looking uh, potentially around 178 million per annum. Um, so if you wanted to use it, and a payback period of less than 12 months. So um, if you run the numbers as we're going towards uh, cash flow and revenues, um, hugely undervalued. Um, contemplating that we're also fully funded by Piedmont Lithium out of the US. Right. And you mentioned at the beginning, early, early in the interview, that um, so you've still got some drill results to come. Um, but in terms of exploration upside to further expand the resource, uh, are you looking at uh, doing some more there? Yeah, look, it's, uh, um, regional exploration is ongoing. We currently have four auger rigs beavering away um, uh, to identify new targets. Um, but of that additional drilling, um, which we, we was not included in the maiden resource, so that's going to increase uh, status uh, and scale. Um, but having only explored 13 square kilometres of a 560 square kilometre tenure package, the exploration upside is significant. Mm. And, and you, so you just put out this scoping study. So what are the, what are the next step, steps for the project? Well, next steps is to deliver the remaining 28 plus thousand metres of drilling results into market. Hopefully that'll resonate. Um, and we're advancing to study. So look, we're just really um, maintaining momentum and preparing ourselves for a, a very aggressive year in 2022. Hmm. I mean, will, will you be looking at a, a DFS at some point? Yeah, look, uh, we're, we're sort of in, we're sort of underway there, but we're, we're definitely well advanced in respect of our PFS. Uh, we're well advanced with our um, ESG initiatives, our environmental, social uh, aspects of, of delivering a project. Um, we're more than 12 months through, through our environmental cycles, wet and dry, um, and we're doing a lot of work to progress to PFS. So hopefully we'll have a PFS. It'll be either early, it'll either be late Q1 next year or early Q2. Um, so yeah, and then from there we will, and that will allow us to put all the permits and mining permits forward. And then we'll 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 um we'll aggressively head towards DFS. Mm, absolutely. And in terms of you know everyone's looking for sort of ESG compliance uh, lithium at the moment. How does your project look in terms of your sort of environmental and social credentials? Yeah, look, uh, we're we're doing really well. Um, we we adopted this sort of philosophy before it became a uh, shall we say an obligatory standard. Um, it's the only way to do business in Africa is you need to be environmentally and socially um, conscious, uh, conscientious. Um, we employ 98% of our staff are Ghanaian nationals. Um, we interact with all the local uh, communities and municipalities, um, and we always help with their sort of community initiatives. 70% um, of our staff are from the mine site district of Mancosim, Cape Coast. Um, so there's a lot of lot of side benefits there. You know, basically all our staff go home at night to their families. And when we develop this mine, um, we don't have this this angst of fly in, fly out, having to accommodate. And that's what also brings our capex number down into a very competitive status. So yeah, ESG very important if you want to progress projects in Africa. And we've been doing it from the onset uh, since we set set, set uh, foot on the ground in Cape Coast. Well, congratulations on getting your scoping study out and, and the work you've achieved this year and look forward to the year ahead. So uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, Vincent Muscola of Atlantic Lithium. Thank you very much, Leo. Have a great day.